Hey, good morning, all. Today is uh, April 7th, and uh, as I was reading this morning, a couple of things came to my mind. The connections between what we have in Deuteronomy and what we have in Luke here. And throughout Deuteronomy, there's a lot of repetition. Um, Moses says things uh, several times, and I think it's because the people need to hear them over and over again, just like we do, need to hear the truth over and over again. But in verse uh, 15, 16, it says this, And the Lord said to Moses, You are going uh, to rest with your ancestors, and these people will soon prostitute themselves uh, to the foreign gods of the land they are entering. They will forsake me and break the covenant made with them, and in that day I will become angry with them and forsake them. Oops, we need to move up a little bit. Well, no, that's right. Uh, so he's talking about in the future, they're going to be successful, they're going to have that land flowing with milk and honey, and then they're, then they're going to forget the God, their God. And it says, verse 20, when I have brought them into the land flowing with milk and honey, the land I promised on oath to their ancestors, and when they eat their fill and thrive, they will turn to other gods and worship them, rejecting me and breaking my covenant. So God knows that when they're in prosperity, that's the uh, most likely time for them to forget uh, him and to turn to other gods and maybe um, understand themselves as being self-sufficient. And that's when they're in the most danger. And Luke says it this way, too. Um, he tells a small parable hand, uh, here in uh, chapter 12, beginning in verse uh, 16. And he told them this parable. The ground of a certain rich man yielded an abundant harvest. He thought to himself, what shall I do? I have no place to store my crops. So uh, Jesus is kind of giving an interesting um, perspective on this. It, it's almost as if the ground magically produced abundant harvest, but of course it's God producing that harvest, and Jesus knows that, and that's his point here. Verse 16, then he said, this is what I'll do. I will tear down my barns and build bigger ones, and then I will store up my surplus grain. And I'll say to myself, you have plenty of grain laid up for many years. Take life easy, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, You fool, this very night your life will be demanded from you. Then who will get what you have prepared for yourself? Um, and that is uh, the danger, of course, is that when we get uh, successful, when we are feeling secure, we have everything stored up for a while, that we'll forget the Lord our God and we will um, either become self-reliant or even fall into sinful idolatry, worshiping things rather than God himself. And so... Just want to hold that up to us. I think that's a real danger for us that, uh, of course, we want to be um, wise with our money. We want to invest well. We want to put things away for later, have some savings. But we also want to make sure that we don't forget where all that stuff came from and uh, forget to give glory to God and remember who we are dependent on, even if we think we have our barns all filled up. So just a thought from today from both Deuteronomy and Luke. That's it.